Good morning, Riverwatch. We're here to talk to you about weird animals. Okay, you've probably never seen this animal, but if you have, we're going to go into more detail about it. There are lots of weird animals in the world, and there is a reason why they are weird. There are unique attributes that make them look weird. <laughs> but they still have to be characterized into certain groups. We believe that no matter how weird the animal is, like our Philippine Tars here, it still has to be placed into classification groups so that we can classify it. We're going to tell you about the Philippine Tarsier's taxonomy, or the branch of science concerned with putting animals into their own specific groups. So we're going to tell you the animals kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. The first is the phylum, which is Chordata. This Tarsier is in this phylum because it has a structure called a notochord or skeletal rod holding up the body and all chordate animals have these. Other animals in the phylum Chordata are humans, monkeys, and dogs. The class is Mammalia and it is in this class because it is a mammal. It's warm-blooded, has hair, and other qualities that a mammal has. Other mammals include cats, dogs, rats, and whales. The Tarsier's order is primates. Examples of primates are apes, monkeys, and the slow lords. The Tarsier is considered a primate because it has certain teeth, a skull, and limbs that all primates share. The family is Tarsidae. It is put into this group because all animals in the family are similar in size, mor morphology, and ecology. Other animals in this group are horse fields, and the genus is Carlito, in which there is only one animal, the Philippine Tarsier. And finally, species is serious stuff. But we have to say Carlito serious stuff because binomial nomenclature. This animal lives in the Philippines and Southwest Asia. To be more specific, it lives in islands such as Celebes or Sulawesi, Borneo, Banka, Belatung, the Natuna Islands, and Sumatra. This animal normally eats moths, butterflies, orthopterans, orthopterans, ants, and beetles. Sometimes they even eat, eat birds and snakes. They are also strictly carnivore. Now, for how they move. They have extremely elongated hind limbs, well-developed leg muscles, and with long gripping fingers, they can jump up to 45 times their body length. Most tarsiers reproduce seasonally, but only a few reproduce through the year. Also, females invest heavily in their single offspring through gestation and lactation. We still believe that no matter how weird the animal is, it still has to be put into classification groups so that we can classify the animal. See, the weird thing about our animal is that it has huge eyes because it charges your eyes way more than its brain. But in the end, this animal still has other animals that are similar to it. So now you know that even one of the weirdest animals could still have a family or some other type of animal that is related to it. One last thing, 